everyone, this is Heather Nichols with another Make It Monday. Today we're going to learn how to do the colored kissing technique. And we're going to make this set of butterfly cards. Now to start off, I am going to ink up my image with um, this classic craft ink. And I'm going to choose an image that is a solid image like this butterfly from the Beautiful Butterflies set. And I'm stamping this on rustic white cardstock. That's my first step. Now I'm going to want to choose a background pattern. I chose um, bas Background Basics Twinkle and I'm stamping this in dark chocolate ink. And what I'm doing is I'm actually going to stamp the background design onto the background stamp or the solid image stamp. And why I'm doing this is I want a pattern to overlay on top of the one that I just stamped and I want it to match up. So I'm stamping it onto the stamp so that it's the right shape to go over the top. I huffed my uh, stamp head, which face or my stamp, which basically means that I breathed on it to keep the ink moist before I stamped. You might have done this when you're using markers on a stamp before, but there you can see how I stamped the pattern and it matched the butterfly image just right. I'm adding a sentiment from the little label stamp set. This little thinking of you. And there you go for your first image. Now, if you look up there, I did another butterfly and I used the Mega Mendy Medallion set. And just look in your stamp collection and see what kind of different patterns that you can experiment with with this technique. For this one, I'm stamping the butterfly in Spring Moss. And all of these, I'm doing the, um, the patterns in dark chocolate ink. And you can use any color that you want, but... Um, just so you can see it real well onto the video. Usually you want to do a darker color on top of a lighter color. So here I'm putting the Polka Dot Basics 2 on top of this butterfly and we're going to get the pattern stamped onto the Spring Moss Butterfly. Probably the biggest trick is lining that background stamp up but it's not too hard. And there we have the, the Polka Dots on top. And another sentiment. All the sentiments on all three cards are from the little labels stamp set. And I'm just going to put these cards together pretty simply. I added a button just to the little side there of the image area. And I'm going to use um, some foam squares to attach that to the card front. Each card base has a strip of pattern paper that coordinates with the color of the butterfly that I stamped. This one on the khaki card happens to be from the Sugar Plum Pattern Paper Collection. And I've got all of three cards put together. Very nice and simple. This would make a great little gift set. Three cards all a little bit different, but go together nicely. And now it's your turn. We would love to see your take on Colored Kissing. Um, go to Nicole's blog and get all the details on posting your projects and also the contest that will be up for the week. Thanks, everyone, and you have a good week.